Pioneer obviously dominate the um, DJ booth in the top clubs around the world. It's a natural progression that we needed to, to bring a professional audio range to this market. Seeing the reaction of people on a dance floor, when you get that room and everyone's having a great time because of the sound systems going and the, the DJ's playing the track, that to me is job done. You know, that's like, that's the, that's the reward. Obviously I'm an engineer, but we're looking for someone else who has a prestige uh, of, of building speakers, you know, a reputation. And obviously that was one of my first challenges to, to, to try and find a suitable person. So one day I was sitting with Mark in the restaurant and arrived to Peru as a surprise because the guy always come and go. So I present him uh, to Mark and uh, sit him down and have a dinner with us. Josh introduced me to Mark and everybody else at, from Pioneer. And Mark and I we were talking about like, you know, Pioneer and everything else. I have mentioned to him, Mark, why is it that you guys haven't designed a sound system? And he goes, funny thing you ask, we're looking for a sound designer. I go, well, I got a perfect guy. This guy's amazing, but he's not a salesman. You know, he's just a, he's just a genius. I go, well, let me introduce you to Gary. And he mentioned Alex also that knows Gary. Later on, they goes, oh, well, Alex said he knows Gary as well. This is perfect. Gary and I, um, we've been in contact via email for at least five years, but never had the opportunity to meet face to face. I knew I wanted to kind of yeah, see what Gary had to offer in the sense of, uh, I know his sound systems and I wanted to have a conversation with him. I went back to the office and then Mark Grofer was like, I've got a contact, you need to talk to Gary Stewart. And I was like, well, I've just been kind of delaying the email to send to Gary to say, I want to meet you and talk about a new business. So it kind of come in three ways, like Baruz recommended uh, Gary to Mark and Mark then recommended Gary to Pioneer and I was already kind of building up to that point to talk to Gary and we all come to that same decision. So we kind of felt all comfortable uh, for the next steps to go and see Gary and obviously pitch Gary the, the concept of what we're trying to achieve. And to our delight, he was uh, very, very excited uh, about the opportunity to, to build something with uh, obviously Pioneer being um, a very important brand in the club market. We were excited because now he had a chance to show the world basically what he can do. The thing about Gary was he was so passionate about the sounds. He was such a perfectionist and cared about it so much. It wasn't just, okay, let me sell something. It was about like, okay, this is my sound system. I want to make sure it's perfect. He's responsible for some of the most amazing sound systems around the world uh, and very well respected by many, many DJs. Some of the systems I had an opportunity to hear was District in New York, Zook in Singapore, and Vertigo in Costa Rica. Incredible sound system. Every time I heard something about, you know, he invited me many times, said, like, look what I just did with the sound. And I was blown away because I'm telling you this, I'm getting goosebumps. <laughs> When DJs played in his, one of the sound systems, they were amazed by it. I had the opportunity to go and see Gary in his house in Las Vegas. And I can remember the, the, the evening so well. And both of us were just in there with the sound system in his, in his garage, which was just a monster. We must have been in there for three, four hours, just continually changing, tweaking. Gary was arguing with me because he wanted to do this EQ, and I'm like, no, dance music should be this. It was incredible. Gary had many, many designs of uh, boxes. He's always wanted to bring out different, very unique designs, which were, some of them are incredible. We did manage to fix and uh, agree on developing a system based on a, a model. We wanted to both uh, work together to improve. I'm a DSP, uh, modern uh, sound engineer, where I'm using DSP, I'm using uh, processing. Gary is obviously in the analog domain, but he was starting to use in his last installation before we formed an alliance together, he started to use PowerSoft. And he was like blown away with how easy it is to set up the, the damping factor for the subwoofers, etc. It was a very uh, uh, good, good start. Peace. PowerSoft was chosen because of uh, two key factors. One, obviously it's uh, incredible power output. 
uh, and two is uh, some special uh, inbuilt features which are inside the amplifiers, which we use for the subwoofers, particularly on the GS Wave system. It's called damping factor. Also, the DSP enables us to monitor the progress of the amplifiers during the night. So if uh, one of the amplifiers was overheating for a particular reason, or one of the resistance of the cable started to go uh, high or low, I could know that there's a fault with something on the speaker. One uh, very exciting feature about the, uh, the PowerSoft amplifiers also is uh, allowing uh, you to load presets in very easily into the amplifiers. So with the XY series and the GS Wave series, it's very easy for us to build presets and uh, you can download them from the website and it's already the manufacturer's presets for delay settings and internal crossover settings. TAD is a sister company of Pioneer and we had the luxury of using their engineering department and channel that into our speaker business to find the best suitable driver for our system. It came up that there's this new club in Ibiza. It, was a, it almost seemed like a great opportunity, you know, for us to, to really kind of make a big statement in the, in the audio market. I met Giuseppe October last year through a friend and he was telling me about the club and asked me if I wanted to get involved with him and I said yes, okay, you know, I like the idea of the new challenge. I have in mind that, uh, you know, try to create something where people feel comfortable and trying to provide them with great music and great sound. Yeah, sound is very important to me, very important. It's, uh, I think it's part of everyday's life. Music is part of your everyday life. It's an important part of your daily life. You know, sound can make you laugh and it can make you cry. And, and that's how important it is to us, you know, and it's the most important thing in a nightclub. Mark Grofer and I we had a meeting with Giuseppe and just uh, showed him the plans of the speakers and what we're looking to do. And equally, uh, Giuseppe to talk to us about the plans for the club. From after that meeting, we uh, arranged a demonstration in Japan. They flew us out to Tokyo and, I mean, within two minutes of listening to that sound system, I just knew we got something very special. We were blown away by the, by the sound. So, I mean, it, wasn't, it, it, it really didn't take much of a decision much of a process after you hear the sound I think it was quite obvious that it was you know, the best sound that I've ever heard for this. Danny put his USB in, played his own music and he turned around with the biggest grin from ear to hear on his face. Starting with the box closest to us here with the three vertical lines. This is called the wave horn and behind the wave horn is the wave sub. The next box up is the wave low and the next box above that is the wave low and then you have the wave lens. The wave lens is a very unique part of our system and it's something Gary was very passionate about. There's three key facts of the acoustic lens. One is that above two kilohertz, we get 110 degree dispersion, horizontal. Two, has very minimal tonal coloration. And three, it greatly reduces fatigue for listeners over a long period of time. The acoustic lens has an angle array at the top. So you can angle the acoustic lens into three different areas. Uh, depending on the dispersion or coverage you want on the dance floor. The GS Wave series is our flagship floor system. Every floor stack system needs infill boxes and our XY series complement the GS Wave system very well. So the XY series range includes a 12 inch, an 8 inch, a single 18 reflex loaded and a twin 15 quasi bandpass subwoofer. X and Y stands for the axis, and the axis means 90 by 60 degree dispersion, both of which the XY122 and the XY81 feature a, a rotatable horn for horizontal and vertical applications. The DJ console at Boom was a great challenge, and the first thing I wanted to try and do is encase the DJ with the speakers. So I installed four XY122 speakers and two XY215 subwoofers. We use the XY series, a KM5. We use the XY series, a Schweier. And we use the XY series, a Pikes. The sound of the XY series, I'd say, is very clean, tight and crisp. And it complements the GS Wave very well. The complete GS Wave system will deliver a warm, deep and clean sound at high SPL. The 
trademark of Gary Stewart's sound system, first thing was warm, but the beauty of that sound system was you could play perfectly, hear all the details and mix perfectly. And also, if you were on a dance floor, you could stay there for a long time. You didn't want to leave. Basically, the sound enhanced what you did as a DJ. You, you feel like you're in the sound. It's not like the sound's going past you. It's not like you're standing there and it's, you know, the thing's coming straight past you and leaving you. You feel like you're part of it. It's very warm, it's very organic, and it's exactly how a good nightclub should sound.